Welcome to another video. I have an integral here that just by looking at it, you can suspect that U substitution will be the strategy to use. However, you might have doubts about what to make your U. There's a natural tendency to just jump and say, I'm going to make this my U. You will be correct. That's what you should make your U because it is the most you can put together, but you have to have an end in mind. If you take the derivative of this function, what would you get? You're gonna get a linear function, which is going to be 8x dx. So you must be looking at a situation where the differential that you're gonna get must contain x dx, and you have to be able to get rid of that somehow. But it looks like Oh, we can get x out of this. Split this x cubed into x squared and x and move the x this way. So these are the kinds of strategies you want to adopt every time you do integration. And then this might be a good giveaway that you need to do a u substitution because this looks too weird to be the boundary unless there's something going on. Okay, so and remember, every integration problem was designed by someone who already thought the way you're supposed to think. So just say, whoever made this up, what were they thinking? Let's get into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is to rewrite this integral in a way that makes it easy for us to see what's coming. And I know that I need to make u to be a function of x squared so that when I take the derivative, it will contain x, but I need an x from the top. And there is an extra x because this is x squared. That's why they made this x cubed. So let's write it this way. This is going to be the integral from 0 to 3 right 3 over 2. On top, I'm going to have x squared. On the bottom, I'm going to have 4x squared plus 9 raised to 3 over 2. Now, the extra x here, I'm going to put here x dx. I always like to do this because it makes my work very clear. Okay, so now, like I said from the beginning, I can make this my u. If there was another x here, then I can't make this my u because things are going get, get, to gonna get really messy. Okay, but thank God that there is no x here. So all I'm gonna do now is make this my u and take the derivative and let's see what comes out of it. So let's say, let x, I mean u be equal to 4x squared plus nine. So we know that du will be the derivative of this, which is gonna be eight x, this goes to zero dx. So from here, I can isolate this x dx by dividing both sides by 8. So I can say 1 over 8 du equals x dx. Nice. I need to do more work. Because what I just did was to make this my u, I need to replace x squared also. But it means I have to do some algebra here so I can isolate x squared. And I have to write this in terms of u. So from here, I know that if I move 9 here, I'm going to have u minus 9 is equal to 4x squared. So if I divide u minus 9 by 4, 1 over 4 times u minus 9 will be equal to x squared. So now I've gotten what's going to be on top. I know what's going to be under. It's going to be u raised to this power. I know what this is going to be. Oh, I need to replace these two. So those are the only two things I need to replace. So let's do another section here. So we're going to say, what is the value of u when x equals 0? So u when x equals 0 is going to be 4 times 0 squared plus 9. Well, it looks like that's going to be 0 plus 9, which is equal to 9. Perfect. Ah, so let's go here. This is going to be 9. We already know that. Let's look at the top. U evaluated at the upper value, 3 rad 3 over 2 will be equal to 4 times the square of this number. Okay, if we square this number, this is going to become 9. This becomes 3. 
So what is that? 9 times 3, 27. If we square this, this is 4. So it's going to be 27 over 4. Mm, plus 9. It looks like this 4 will cancel out this 4. And you have 27 plus 9, which is going to be 36. Nice. So we have perfect squares sitting here. Huh. Brilliant. So let's just write everything we've got. So here, on top, x squared is going to be replaced by 1 over 4u minus 9. So we have 1 over 4u minus 9. Under, we're going to have um, u raised to power 3 over 2. And here, we're going to have d D, we're going to have x dx replaced by 1 over 8 du. 1 over 8 du. Now let's take out all the numbers, all the scalars, all the constants. Let's move them all to the back. Well, I got one here. I got one here. Well, it looks like this is 1 over 8 times 1 over 4. 1 over 4 times 1 over 8, that's 1 over 32. I can pull that all the way to the back. So this is equal to 1 over 32. Nice. Then I integrate from 9 to 36, what I have on top here is going to be u minus 9 divided by u raised to power 3 over 2, and I have here du. Now this looks very nice. At this point, because this is just arithmetic, there is just u minus 9, I can split this into two integrals. So this is equal to 1 over 32, and this integral here from 9 to 36 becomes u divided by this minus 9 divided by this. So it's going to be u over u3 over 2 uh, minus 9 over u to the 3 over 2. Nice. 1 over 32, and then I have the integral. Now let's do that. See, when you apply the laws of exponents, 1 minus 3 over 2 is negative one half, right? So this is going to just going to be from 9 to 36 is going to be u to the negative one half minus, this is 9 times this, um, it's just going to be 9 times u to the negative three halves and everything is du. Okay, I wonder if I can do the integration here. I'm going to try and squeeze it, no, let's just do it here. <laughs> okay. So, let's try to integrate this. This is going to be, let's do one here, come on. 1 over 32, <laughs> and then if we integrate this, u to the negative 1 half, if you add 1 to this, it gives you 1 half. So that's u to the 1 half divided by 1 half. But what does that mean? u to the 1 half divided by 1 half is just 2 times u to the 1 half. So it's just 2 times the square root of u. Actually, that's what that is. I'm going to, I would rather use this. I like this because I know these are perfect squares. Okay, so minus, if I minus 9 times, what would this be? u to the, if you add 1 to this, you're going to get u to the negative 1 half. So divided by negative 1 half, that's negative 2. Well, if you multiply by negative 2, this becomes plus 18. Okay, I'm going to forge this now and change this to 18. Wow, that's extreme forgery. Okay, so this is plus 18, and this is going to be 1 over the square root of u. Nice. And all of this evaluated from 9 to 36. So all I have to do is plug in 36 and then plug in 9 and I subtract one from the other. At the end of the day, I multiply by 1 over 32. So this is equal to 1 over 32, and then let's go. If I plug in 36 in each case, this is going to be 2 times square root of 36. That's going to be, what square root of 36 again? 6, right? Yeah, what's 2 times 6? 12. Ah, that was hard. Okay, 12 plus. <laughs> Now, let's do that again. Put 36 here. 1 over square root of 36 is 1 over 6. 18 times 1 over 6 is 3. Yeah, it's 3. Okay, nice. And then we're going to subtract. Let's do the next one. Let's plug in 9. This is going to be 3, right? Square root of 9 is 3. 3 times 2 is 
Six. That's hard. Six. Okay. And then we plug in nine here. Square root of nine is three. 18 divided by three is six. Okay, that was easy. Okay, is that plus? Yes. Nice. So, looks like we have one over 32 multiplied by 15 minus 12. Oh, nice. That's gonna be three over 32. Okay, this is the definite integral of this problem that we have. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.